In this lesson, I'm going to be going over how to plan for your classes. Now, most undergraduate finance degrees are going to take you four years to complete. So that means you're taking classes in the fall and you're taking classes in the spring and you should be completed by four years. Now, if you fail a class, it might take you five years. Now, if you take classes in the summer or more classes than recommended, you might graduate a little early, maybe a little less than four years. OK, now I don't recommend taking classes in the summer because the summers should be reserved for internships this is something I'm going to cover later on uh, in the future lesson but you should not be taking classes in the summer unless you need to now to plan for your classes you're going to need to go to your college advisor so most colleges are going to offer you an advisor so when I went to college we I was under the school of business and we had a bunch of advisors and you'd get assigned to one uh, depending on your last name right so it was alphabetical order so this advisor had all the a all the people with last names starting with a through maybe f and then the next one had um the other people so you're going to go to your college advisor and you are going to ask for all the classes you need to graduate on time okay ask for all of the uh, the graduation sometimes they'll even help you make a graduation plan a plan to complete all the classes now and even give you some recommendations so what I, what I would do is i'll sit down with that advisor and ask them hey what classes should i take my first semester what classes should I take my second semester? All right, now I'm going on to my second year. What classes should I take, right? They'll even give you some really good tips, but they're not always gonna be, you know, the best resources to use. You know, some advisors, um, you know, don't fully know about your major. They don't really know the best classes to take and when to take them. They don't know what professors to take, right? So you have to just get the list from them and get their recommendations. Now, once you have that list, you're going to take this to someone who is um, a senior in college in your major or a friend. It might be a friend or a stranger or anyone really ask them, hey, this is my schedule for the next three years. What do you think? These are people that have already taken those classes. These are people that have gone through what you're about to go through. So they're going to recommend professors. They're going to recommend schedules. They're going to recommend, hey, instead of taking this class your second year, I would wait to take it to your third year or maybe your, your last year in college right so you need to do that now if you don't have any friends or any you know you, if, if you don't feel like approaching someone who is about to graduate go to a professor a finance professor right and ask them hey this is my schedule for the next four years they're gonna recommend they're gonna have some really good recommendations for you you know maybe rearrange this class instead of taking uh, corporate finance one and uh, corporate finance two a year apart take them a semester apart okay now these are people that are going to help you create the best schedule do not just depend on your college advisor now i'm going to share with you a template here that you can use uh, to plug in your classes and the credit hours you need in order to in order to keep track of that so this is how you are going to create uh, your schedule so now this is going to be available for download in the resources uh, section of this video so i'm going to go ahead and share my screen with you guys so you can see what i'm looking at here okay now there you go so now this is our uh tracker here this is how you're going to track your class so this is a four-year academic plan now you can add you know additional years here if it takes you five years or you can remove um, this one here if it takes you three years to graduate now to use this you can see that this is the first year right so the year is comprised of the first semester which is the fall semester and the second semester which is the spring semester and this does not account for the summer semester because you should not be taking classes in the summer unless you need to now here it's going to be the class names so you can put the class names in here whether it's uh corporate finance we just call it uh finance something like that okay you can type in the class name and you can type in the credit hours most classes are going to be three credit hours okay now let's say you have another class three hours this is going to calculate your hours on the bottom here right most universities require five classes are going to be maybe 15 hours and if there's a class that has uh, maybe four credit hours and you might have a little more uh, hours right so this is what you're going to use to plan uh, for your four-year academic plan okay now you're going to add all the classes you need to take here right so once you have all those classes you're going to add all these credit hours to see if they match the credit hours you need to graduate on time now once you sit down with let's say that you know you've gotten the list of the classes from your college advisor and you went to a friend who's a senior in college in your major in finance 
and you know they ask you to switch to the you know they recommend that you switch some classes maybe not take this the last year of college maybe you know take this at the beginning and you go to a professor you know a finance professor and you ask uh, for that same help and they rec do some recommendations and you create this schedule here using the file that i just showed you which is available for download now you're going to go back to your college advisor and you're going to say hey this is the schedule that i have put together right and you want them to approve it okay you might even want to go to two different college advisors you know to just see that you know this advisor you know they might be missing something so if you go to another one they might catch something that the other one missed you're gonna ask them hey this is the schedule you know is does this conflict with anything am i gonna be able to graduate on time if i follow this schedule now most of the time they're gonna be like yeah it looks like all the classes are here that that are required yeah looks good and there you go now this is gonna help you in so many ways there are so many people that thought they were about to graduate and they realized that they missed taking a class that's required for graduation this actually happened to me when i was in college you know i was you know getting ready to graduate i started working actually a few months before i graduated from college so i was working and then also taking classes now it was close to graduation day and i'm looking into in my portal where i was able to see my progress uh you know for graduation and it was stuck at 99 percent. i was like what am i missing so i looked through my schedule and and it looks like i took all the classes that were required until i found this one class that was missing this was a class called finance accounting for finance majors i'm looking at this i'm like there's no way I missed this class because I went over my schedule every semester before the start of every semester, before I registered for classes, I called my advisor to, you know, to get my schedule approved, you know, uh, to just get it looked at. Now, you know, I'm, I'm having a headache. I'm looking, I'm like, I know I looked at every class. I know I took every class, you know, now I, I email my advisor. I get no response. I'm panicking. I'm like, I'm ready to graduate. I'm already working this full-time job. And they're just waiting for me to provide proof that I graduated. Now, if I don't graduate, I'm going to lose my job. You know, eventually, you know, the, the advisor, I go to the advisor's office. This, this all happened on the weekend. Uh, and then on Monday, I go to the advisor's office and we start looking through my degree plan and they realized that the school had upgraded or had changed one of the classes that I required for finance majors to graduate but this, this did not affect me since I was um, you know this was for future classes but this updated the system so my record showed that I was missing that class right but I graduated on time because you know they just needed to uh, exclude me from that update since I had enrolled in college years before um, that took effect now that this is why you need to make sure that your academic plan is solid most people most people actually miss classes that they're supposed to take right and they and they can't graduate on time because they just weren't proactive about their schedule you know they're gonna say well i asked my academic advisor and uh they you know they didn't help me or they told me to take these classes and i missed this class you know you can't blame them you have to take accountability you have to be proactive about your schedule you have to be the one that's going out there and uh, making sure that your schedule is accurate and it's going to be able to make you help you graduate on time so that's pretty much it for this lesson i'll see you guys on the next one